A career criminal and probation fugitive is the focus of this week's At Large Utah's Fugitives. Chief investigative reporter Wendy Holleran is here with why Sheldon Hall is considered so dangerous. Wendy? Well, Mark and Heidi, Sheldon Hall is on the Metro Gang Unit's 10 Most Wanted list for a reason. He has multiple convictions for domestic violence, aggravated assault, DUI, and drugs. Tonight, the Metro Gang Unit needs your help to find him, especially because he has threatened to slit his mother's throat and, in the past, kill a cop. These are the many faces of Sheldon Tyler Hall, 12 inmate photos we obtained from the Utah Department of Corrections. This is an individual who has been known to law enforcement really for his entire life. In prison at the time of this parole hearing back in 2012, convicted of DUI. How many uh, DUI arrests have you had now? Three, sir. And domestic violence. It's alleged that on March 24, 2011, you were arguing with your uh, pregnant girlfriend over phone numbers that the, your girlfriend had found in your cell phone. During the course of the uh, argument, it escalated to the point where you punched your girlfriend in the stomach, kicked and broke a door, kicked a hole in another door and threw a cup of soda on your girlfriend and a nearby child. Hall then discussed his time in the foster care system and how he started using drugs when he was young. Uh, marijuana became a daily habit. Yes, sir. Then you, age 16, started using MDMA. What's, what's that? Ecstasy. His gang affiliation was brought up. How old were you when you became a member of the East Side Gang? 14. And your gang moniker in uh, Utah is Kool-Aid? Yes, sir. And your moniker in Oregon is Shells? Yes, sir. He was asked about his tattoos. You got some tattoos. Tell me about them. Um, a rosary that I was drunk and, on, and I was high on meth. I just put it on me and then I got ESB which is East High Bloods, and then I got a half of a heart, and then I got five dots, and I got a smile now and cry later, which is just all when I was drunk, and then I got a Grim Reaper on my back and a tribal cross on my stomach. He claimed he renounced the gang life. Why were you jumped out? Because the woman I was with, I found out was pregnant with my son, and I just didn't want him to, I didn't want to raise him up around gang members. I didn't want no problems coming to the house. His inmate sentence was terminated in March 2014. Hall could not stay on the straight and narrow. On August 8th of 2020, he choked out his girlfriend to the point of her passing out. Placed on probation on October 30th, 2020, after his seventh person crime conviction in Utah, even though he has never been successful at probation or parole. In 2021, he got into an argument with his girlfriend and told his mom he was going to slit her throat and he was going to kill a cop. Sheldon Hall is wanted for aggravated assault. He is 5 feet 11 and weighs 160 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. But the last time um, he had interaction with the, with the police here in Salt Lake County has been about six months ago. Now, Sergeant Melody Cutler warns that Sheldon Hall is known to be armed also, so don't approach him if you see him. If you have any information about him, call the Salt Lake Metro Gang Unit on the number on your screen. You can also email them a tip. Back to you, Heidi.